Folks, today on the Stony Ridge Farm Channel, we're installing that dock from Flo. Woo! Hey there, folks. This is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back. Honda Room Zone. <laughs> Welcome back to our 150-acre first-generation farm. We're here sharing things with you as we build the farm, and today's video is going to be an awesome time. We are down here at about a one acre to three quarter of an acre pond that I built here on the Stony Ridge Farm about two and a half years ago. You'll get some cool footage of the pond build a little bit later on in the video. We also have a two to two and a half acre pond over the hill. Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna install a roll-in dock from Flow Docks. This is gonna be super cool. There'll be a link down in the video description. I came down here and groomed all this so it looked nice and pretty. We're gonna assemble the dock, roll it in, test her out crank it up it's gonna be awesome guys and maybe just maybe I'll get to go fishing today this is the first video in a series of many videos about caring for your pond and maximizing the use of your farm pond or your golf course pond or any pond you might have on your property awesome guys let's have some fun Woo! I ain't afraid of work I ain't afraid to play I ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way afraid of life times like this if you mess with my freedom i'll tell you this what you can kiss all right, folks, welcome back to the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. If this is your first time here, your 50th time, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing. I'd love to have you back. We're going to try to make this a fairly short video with a lot of information. So hang tight all the way to the end because there's going to be piles and piles of info for you guys here in this video. So we're going to talk about pond ecosystems real quick. Look back there. It's a mess. Look here. It's a bit of a mess. So this is a pond that my friend and I, Frank, built. And this was a swampy, nasty area here on the farm. It's one of the worst places on the farm and it's absolutely gorgeous. Now you can see the fence in the background. The cows are up there. The cows do not have access to any waterways here on the Stony Ridge Farm at the moment. They don't get in the pond, they don't destroy the pond, and they won't be walking out on the new dock that we're putting in today. So this pond, again, was built two, maybe three years ago, and basically all we did was hollow out a bowl right here and built ourselves a nice dam. In the center of this pond, we're at about eight feet deep, which is pretty cool. We're about three quarters of an acre, maybe a touch more than three quarters of an acre. There's some cattails over here and I'm all about habitat. Habitat on the edge of the pond for frogs and all sorts of amphibians and habitat inside the pond. We stocked this pond. We'll get you some pond stocking footage. We stocked it with catfish. I don't know where the catfish went, but they ain't here. <laughs> so we stocked it probably two, three months after we built the pond. It looked absolutely great. The catfish seemed to be doing good. I was coming down here feeding them all the time and then they just kind of disappeared. Well, I made a mistake. So what I was doing was setting a minnow trap in the creek down here and I was bringing minnows in to help feed the catfish so that they would grow. And what did that do? That brought other fish species into the pond and now we have a lot of bass and a lot of crappie in this pond. Crappie, bass, sunfish, and other native fish to this area. So we we also have a problem again with muskrats and you can see out in the pond right there we're gonna have to take care of this so the dock will make a great little hunting platform as I fish for the muskrats anytime you have cattails and you see them floating out in the middle of the pond that means you got muskrats muskrats are pulling up the cattails and eating the bulbs in the bottom of the cattail now let's look back here so this pond flooded back just a little bit, and this is just a runoff pond pretty much, guys. It just catches the water that runs off. It's been really dry, so the water level's a little bit down right now, but you can see there are some trees in here. As these trees fall down, they build habitat. Habitat for amphibians, habitat for fish, habitat for all sorts of stuff. Maybe beavers, I don't know. <laughs> so. What it's all about here is if you build a pond, you want to keep the edges nice, but you've got to inspire habitat. If you want a healthy ecosystem in your pond, you have to inspire good habitat. And that's why we have some cattails over here and we have a little grass around the outside edge. Right down here are crappie beds where the crappie are breeding. Awesome, or laying eggs and breeding, I guess. So 
without further ado, we're gonna run up, we're gonna grab the dock, we're gonna get right here, we're gonna assemble it and roll it in. So the flow dock system, you guys need to know a little bit about flow docks. Flow docks are made right in Minnesota. It's an American company, American made stuff. I gotta thank my buddy, Stanley the Dirt Monkey. There'll be a link to his channel at the end of this video. He is a great dude. Tell him you found him through Stony Ridge. What a great guy. So Stan and I were up in Minnesota and we were riding around, right? Just having fun, talking, comparing YouTube notes, and Stan said, oh, dude, that's flow. That's flow trailers and flow docks right there, man. Let's pull in there. So we pulled into flow docks, and we had a little bit of fun with Don, my buddy at flow docks now. He's a good friend, and I'm actually going back in about a month. I just like it up there. Minnesota is a beautiful place, a really beautiful place. So we met Don, and we figured out how all these are built. All these dock systems are built. It's a very unique system. Let's talk about the tire here. This is the wheel that rolls in <laughs> and it's going to roll in the pond without me rolling it in in a second but you can see this wheel will sit on the ground it has holes in it okay so this wheel rolls in and rolls out of the pond and helps to stabilize the dock system the dock system runs on these rails which are in these boxes that have been sitting outside and there's an awesome instruction booklet with every one of these boxes but what's really cool about flow is this bam step one step where's step two step two <laughs> step three step four it tells you everything you need to know on the card that has everything out there so you don't have to go grab a coffee can and dump all your nuts and bolts in it I grabbed a bucket because I thought I was gonna have nuts and bolts everywhere but I'm not this is the instruction book a kindergartner could do it. So we're gonna go up there, grab the tractor, get the dock. We're gonna set all this stuff out right here and we're just gonna start assembly. I'll let you know at the end of the video the actual real time that it took to install this flow dock. And there's a unique system on the top of this dock that has a wood grain to it. It is a powder coated wood grain. It's very, very unique. You're gonna love it. So the next part of this project is we're going to divvy out all the parts to their perspective corners. Let me show you real quick and there's a video out, I'll link to it at the end of this video. There's a video about how this installation stuff goes. The system is modular so you can bolt up all sorts of stuff to the outside of the dock and right here is the end. This is the end that's going to go in the water, hence the fact that it says flow trailers on it. <laughs> But you have to assemble this thing upside down. So when you assemble it upside down, you get it right, you flip it back over and roll it in. Hopefully I'm strong enough. This thing is not too light and not too heavy, but I've got the tractor down there. There goes my neighbors. I've got the tractor down here. So if I have to flip it, I've got a strap and the tractor. We'll just roll it over and bloop, 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 right out in the water. So when you order your dock from your flow dealer, you're gonna have to know the depth of your water. So you gotta check it. I know the depth of this water is about 
I, I hope it's about six feet. So this is for four, five, six, and eight foot wide dock sections and for use in approximately 49 to 89 inches of water or 68 to 108 for the extra, extra deep. Tools required, 9 16 socket wrenches, three quarter inch socket, cordless drill, and we got it. Flow speed wrench, what's that? Torque wrench. So there is a torque spec on all this stuff, guys. You need to make sure if you build this, you build it to the spec. If you wanna have this installed, you can buy this at your local flow dealer and they'll come and install it for you. Step one in the book matches step one in the card. Pop these out. Finger tighten everything first. So from this point, we'll just get you some time lapse of all this stuff going together. Guys, 25 minutes and we are slipping wheels into place, man. Holy cow, these little bushings go right over or washers go right over and then they're retaining little rings right here. Bam. We're almost ready to roll into the pond. 25-ish minutes while filming. That is quick. Super easy to read instructions. Doesn't get any better than that. So we torque everything to spec and then we'll flip her over. Yeah, baby. Oh yeah. One man show here. Last but not least, we gotta put our ramp on. We gotta loosen these bolts right here, lay it into place on the integrated locking system and then tighten those up and we're good to go, man. Holy cow. Almost done. It's like a 40 minute dock install. Bam, just like that. We'll get it out in the water and then we'll start leveling it up. Oh. I'm thinking we're gonna make this work, but I think there's a bracket kit that I'm missing right here. We shall see. We're gonna go ahead and get her in the pond here. There are two plugs in the end of the dock and you got to take a one and one eighth inch socket with a drill, not an impact and raise the legs up to level the dock out. We're going to roll it on out in the water just a little bit more. Guys, I don't need the ramp. I am going to anchor this right down here with some rebar and that'll be it. We're going to go on out just a little ways further. We didn't bring the level, we're going to eyeball level. Oh yeah, need to bring it up just a hair on that corner right there. Really a half inch on this side and an inch on that side. And once we've got it level, we just take these caps and this shows up and down. The 
direction you need to go. Pop that cap in place. Pop that cap. And our dock is done. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> Folks, we got a dock. This is the material, the dock material. It's aluminum, but it's powder coated and it looks like wood. It will never fade, it will never rot, it will never rust. That's the benefit of this. All aluminum construction, ultra lightweight, easy to take in and out of the pond, but we'll never take it out again. So stay tuned. We're gonna do the flow floating dock next in the big pond which I guarantee you will be easier than doing the roll-in dock. Now, you guys see that the landing is still sitting over here. I'm missing a bracket to attach the landing to the dock here. So what I'm gonna do, as you know, it rolls. So I'm gonna leave it just like this. Once I get the materials to put the landing on it, we'll extend it even further out. So it'll be another, I guess, about seven or eight feet out into the pond. That is awesome. There are no fish of size to go fishing in this pond. This was gonna be a swimming hole. Stay tuned, we've got some videos coming with Conder's Water Solutions. We're gonna be putting a solar aerator in this pond to help clear it up. We're also gonna be doing some pond treatments and dye. If you're curious about ponds, if you're curious about farm ponds, there will be a link at the end of this video to the pond series, and there'll be a link at the end of this video to the building of this pond. This was super simple. I have $2,500 in this pond. I've got more in that dock than I've got in the pond. Really cool, guys. If you're interested in a high quality dock, Flow Docks. It's really awesome. I'll post a link to their website where you can find a dealer local to you. They'll install it or you can install it. And this will slowly kind of sink into the mud a little bit. So I'll have to go out and make some slight adjustments from time to time. That's why it's adjustable. It rolls in and rolls out. So for those of you who live in areas where you take your dock out every year, this is an indispensable unit. We don't have to do that here. So the floating dock, which is twice as big as this, is gonna be awesome. We're gonna put a paddle boat on one of these little ponds right here, and that'll be fun too. All right, guys, thanks a lot for joining me. That's the install. We got a dock. Now we can fish once the fish get big enough, and I can get that log out. Cool? See you guys next time on the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe, we'd love to have you back. Woo! Come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life here and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. No! I don't know what it is. Oh! Nothing's easy in life, especially on a farm. Guys, pray for whoever's getting ready to get in that thing because they're in a bad way right now. That's going to Wake Forest Baptist Hospital. Turkey, turkey, turkey. We forgot me charging cable, but hopefully I can get this done very quickly. So I'm not very bright. That's right, kids.